Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we are going to do an unboxing of Commands and Colors, Samurai Battles. Uh, this is part of the, obviously, Commands and Colors system from Richard Borg. Uh, this is a remake of Samurai, uh, which was put out by another company, included a lot of miniatures and and stuff, and faded, faded from history, and then uh, uh, GMT gave it their magic touch with the... Uh, very heavy uh, wooden blocks that you get with stickers and you like 8 million blocks and 10 million stickers in the in here but it's what I heard we'll find out when we open it like the other games in the commands and colors series such as memoir 44 uh, great war uh, of course Napoleonics ancients um, they all bring a little different flavor to the same general system. Um, I found memoir especially to be very solo friendly because there weren't a lot of, uh, there were a lot of, you had to modify the rules slightly. I mean, not the rules of the game itself, but how you, uh, how you as a player play the game. But, uh, um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, we will take a look at what you get in the box. Very heavy box, big GMT three inch, three incher. Hope it all goes back in there. When you're done. All right, so there's there's the lumber right there. Um, so there's some big big blocks here. Probably gonna be the leaders, and then we've got some medium-sized blocks, and then some square blocks. Wow, lots of different blocks here. And the tinier blocks. Wow, there's a lot of stickering going on here. So I'm going to shift these off to the side because there's not much to see. Um, pretty standard. I mean, they're obviously different shapes. These are more rectangular. As are these. And there's blue and red and some black ones in there too. All right, so then we've got a bag of custom dye. And this is interesting. These look like they might be heat transfer die, similar to what you'd see in uh, Too Many Bones and other games. They may be printed. They're very smooth. So you don't feel there's no labels. It's uh, pretty good. They do roll. And they've got the nice rounded, um, if you can see it in the video here, um, they've got nice rounded corners. So that they will, um, you know, you know, six-sided dice can kind of stick. This makes them more rolly. Look at that spinny, 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 spinny. Ah, blue triangle. So you get. Let's see, we've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dice, and and they're not different colors. So I assume that they're all the same on each face. There. And then we've got some cards. We have the standard, uh, it looks like the standard command and colors cards. Let's take a look at those. They obviously got the, the graphic design to fit the theme. So yeah, as expected, order one unit in the left side, order two units in the center, order three units right, so on and so forth. These are pretty standard. Order units with the red square symbol. Tiger tail right. You should order to two units and or leaders in the center section and one unit or leader in the right section. So a variety of cards here. They are not, probably don't need to be, but they're not numbered. It's interesting. GMT usually gives a little card number on them. So you get a nice deck of cards. Standard, you know, GMT quality. Nice and thick. Obviously these would probably be sleeved more than not they get used the most. We also have something here called the, this is the Dragon Guard. Now these are probably going to be like the, in some of the other games where special events can happen or uh, special bonuses, actions, things like that. So you have a deck of these and they are uh, you know, nice little you know, dragon head and you probably can't see it on here but they look like uh, See a little focus here, little dragon scales. 
pretty cool. So we have a deck of dragon cards. There's stuff like Ashigaru Attack. Probably mispronouncing that, forgive me. Play alongside your command card. Target all ordered Ashigaru Spearman units, units with a blue triangle symbol. So we've got lots of different variations here that can happen. I guess you have to spend points maybe for those because we've got ones and twos up in the corner. Some threes. Wise advisor at the end of your turn, discarding command card you just played. Instead of drawing a new one, you can search through the command card discard pile and take one and add it to your hand. So that's pretty cool. So we get a deck of those. Again, same quality. I like the, kind of like that nice white back there. That's kind of cool. I guess this kind of goes compliments the other deck. All right. So now we have the rule book. And as expected, it's going to be the great GMT rulebook quality, at least in terms of the printing. Assume that the uh, editing will be very well done. So it gives the rules. Uh, let's see, the rule book itself is 32 pages. We have a reference card for the units. Hopefully there'll be some reference cards in there as well. We've got the command cards and dragon cards. It tells you how many there are in each set, which is always nice. Kind of like having a, uh, in a standard war game, having a, uh, a list of all the counters um, available to you. So let's check the index here. It tells you the red block and the blue block units. And the black ones are commanders which I guess their sticker and their costume uh, indicate which side they're actually on. Uh, there's five of each, four, but well, five for each side. All right, so let's go to the index, see how long the rules are. There's no index. So plenty of rule is gonna be fun. So, um, so any different groups. Object of the game, game turn. The rules actually start here on page 11. And the main rules go to, let's see, where do the main rule go to? Phase five, end of turn, goes to about 21. And end of game, so about 11 pages of rules and then all the variations and what the cards do and special considerations. So 32 page rule book. Now the scenario book. The scenario book has, let's see, 44 pages. Also full color, looks like there's 40 missions. Ending with Dom Yoji, 1615 AD, the battle among the tombs. Shows you how to set it up. Sekigahara, hey, that sounds familiar. So there's 40 pages of uh, Pretty much just rules. Um, I mean, excuse me, uh, scenarios. 44 pages of scenarios and 40 scenarios. So that works for you. And there is an index there for what the scenarios are. Okay. And there's a introductory skirmish. Okay, and then we've got these sticker sheets. Here's a small sheet. These are later for the probably for the black box. Because these are the commanders, blue armor, the red army, or blue army, red army, and the commanders. So those are those elite ones. I guess the black blocks will stand out on the board. And then we have our sticker sheets. Got the blue army. So there's one, two, three, four sticker sheets. And it tells you what they are. In fine print underneath, Ashigaru Spearman, the Samurai Bowman, Spares, Spearman, Spares, so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool. So these are the good, the, the quality, kind of, uh, uh, I don't want to say plastic paper, but, you know, not as prone to tear like a, you know, mailing label or basic label would be. And then we do have, as hoped for, two reference cards. And it's for both sides. So it's got the uh, 
stiff glossy cardstock that GMT is known for. And then we've got counters. Because you've got to have terrain modification and also some markers here. So we've got some flags and some uh, symbols or victory points, honor and fortune symbols it's called. So a small sheet of those. And then some terrain modification. There are two, three sheets of those. So you got some forest here. On the back makes the rivers. More forest. Rivers. Some rice fields. A little city. Bridges. And these are these are self-punching as we as we do the video, so they come out pretty cleanly. So those hex overlays, and then we got some hills. And this one that's falling out is a it's like a training ground or a parade ground or something. Totally flip it over here. And just various things to make the game a little more thematic, I guess. Got some paths and some fence areas. And like I said, those are just falling right out. All right, and then finally we've got the the big board, and it's a uh, it's an eight panel uh, GMT board, and we will take a look at the inside of that. Okay, so here's the game board you get. Like I said, it's a standard eight panel uh, GMT uh, board, which means it's, uh, uh, let's see, do the math here, 34 by uh, 22. Yeah, 34 across by 22, back and forth. Um, it's got a nice grassy uh, texture to it. Uh, you can see the divider lines so that you've got right, center, left, unless you're sitting on the other side, of course. Um, I guess this staging area here that will uh, let you put some some blocks on it. It goes right to the edge, uh, and then of course the overlays will go on there, and then the units will go on there too. So uh, it's pretty. You can see it. It's there's not much to display here. So that is what is the board looks like. So if you pick up a copy of Commands and Colors Samurai Battles from GMT Games, this is what you're going to get inside: the uh, three sheets of terrain overlays oh, that punch very easily one sheet of markers two player reference cards four sheets of stickers so you have a craft project before you get to play the game uh, excuse me five sheets of stickers four and a half got the uh, commanders a 44 page scenario book with 40 scenarios a 32 page rule book with about 11 pages of rules and then some variations and explanations and details. You're going to get a deck of dragon cards. You're going to get a deck of the uh, order cards. You're going to get 12 custom dice. Get in there. A bunch of blocks. Uh, they're going to go in here somewhere. Part of your craft project, should you choose to accept it. And then the game board that we looked at. So that is what comes in. I'm not going to go back in the box. That's what comes in Commands and Colors Samurai Battles by GMT Games, designed by Richard Borg. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!